five, four, three, two, one. We have the stuff. SpaceX's Starship Integrated Test Flight 7, or IFT-7, launched from Texas on January 16th, 2025, and broke apart over the Caribbean, ending a promising mission in what some called failure, but SpaceX calls hard-earned lessons. Today, February 27th, 2025, we're examining the IFT-7 investigation findings, confirming IFT-8's updated launch date, and detailing the upgrade SpaceX plans to test, shaped by the last flight's destruction. IFT-7's unraveling, a harmonic hiccup. IFT-7 began with success. Super Heavy Booster 14 fired all 33 Raptor engines, separated cleanly, and was caught by the Starbase Tower's chopstick arms, SpaceX's second such achievement. But Ship 33 hit trouble. Two minutes into its burn, a flash near the Raptor engines in the aft or attic section indicated a problem. A pressure spike suggested a propellant leak, followed by twin flashes and a sustained fire. By T plus 8, telemetry dropped. And by T plus 11, Ship 33 exploded over the Turks and Caicos Islands, scattering debris over the Atlantic. SpaceX's investigation, per their latest update, identified a harmonic response, vibrations stronger than static tests predicted. These disrupted the propulsion system, cracking components, and caused a liquid oxygen and methane leak. The attic's vents couldn't handle the pressure, fueling a fire that shut down all but one engine, leading to the flight termination system activation. This mismatch between ground test and flight conditions caught SpaceX off guard, highlighting a critical lesson. IFT's launch clock set for Monday. As of today, SpaceX targets Monday, March 3rd, for IFT-8 from Starbase, aiming for a 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time launch, pending FAA approval. Originally set for February 28th, the date shifted, as SpaceX confirmed last night on their site and social media. Quote, now targeting to launch Starship's eighth flight test as soon as Monday, March 3rd. The FAA's review of IFT-7's mishap report is the key, but SpaceX has a backup date of March 6th if needed. Ship 34's 60-second static fire on February 11th at Macy's new flame trench was the longest ever, signaling added vigilance by SpaceX to address future unforeseen problems. What's new for Flight 8? IFT-8 emerges from the shadows of IFT-7's fiery end, carrying forward its untested dreams with a suite of bold enhancements. Ship 34, a refined Block 2 prototype, will cradle 10 dummy Starlink satellites poised for a suborbital release over the Indian Ocean, a feat IFT-7 couldn't claim. To silence the attic fires that consumed its predecessor, SpaceX has woven in a fire suppression system and widened venting, while bolstering hardware to ride out fierce harmonic waves. A 25% boost in propellant capacity now fuels Ship 34, paired with repositioned forward flaps for sharper control and less heat buildup during re-entry. Actively cooled metallic tiles take center stage, surpassing IFT-7's passive heat shield trials, readying Starship 34 for the searing re-entry its sibling never met. Booster 15 steps up with upgraded igniters to smooth out IFT-7's boost back engine stumble. Its avionics fine-tuned for yet another dramatic tower catch. A streamlined Starlink loader box in the high bay replaces the outdated trace system, simplifying payload prep with a subtle yet crucial touch. Adjustments to the fuel lines, propellant temperatures, and thrust targets round out the upgrades, promising added reliability. Beyond the Flames 
From harmonic havoc to calculated comeback, Starship Saga thrives on grit. IFT-8 aims to turn IFT-7's debris into invaluable data, proving SpaceX can pivot and push the envelope. From the chaos of harmonic upheaval to a steady, deliberate resurgence, Starship's journey pulses with raw determination. IFT-8 sets out to transform IFT-7's scattered remains into a treasure trove of insight, showcasing SpaceX's knack for adapting and stretching boundaries. With Monday's launch drawing near, the next chapter loaded with fixes and fueled by bold vision could bring us one step closer to becoming a multi-planetary society. Absolutely. I'm excited for this, guys. I am really, really excited. Thank you for hanging out with me. We changed up format a little bit, just got straight into it. So this is really good information. We finally know that Monday is going to be the day. If that happens, it should, unless the FAA has something to do with it or there's weather problems. We should see a Monday launch. Now, we thought it was gonna to happen tomorrow on Friday. So I was prepared, I was ready for it. I was ready for it, guys. I hope you're gonna be hanging out with me for this launch, all right? Definitely do so. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, do it now and then click this notification button because when I do go live with this IFT8 launch, you'll be able to hang out with me. I'm excited and I hope you are too. This is really big. There are so many upgrades to this IFT8. There is a lot. A lot of them were in IFT7, but they weren't able to be tested because it had a RUD or a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Boom, right? So there's a lot in there. The 25% more propellant that we talked about that they didn't say that it was actually on board, but now they're actually saying it. So those tanks were bigger. All right, and that area in that addict area is where there was a problem and chances are, like I said in my last video, something around that caused the problem, caused that harmonic imbalance, that shaking, that shivering that went throughout the entire ship that started breaking things apart, cracking things, pulling lines, all kinds of things. Now, they supposedly did some work on the harmonics. Now, what they did to make it a little bit stronger, let's say, or to avoid that shaking from occurring, I really don't know. And they didn't talk about it at all, but I'm sure they did a lot because this is a very big thing and that's something that you cannot test while it's on the ground. Now they did fire up all the engines for 60 seconds. That's the longest test fire ever. And they throttled it up and they throttled it down and they did all kinds of tests to see what happens to it. But the problem with that is, is you're not accounting for anything else. When you're bolted on the ground, you're not going to get the same test results as when you're flying through the atmosphere at max Q, when you're having the most pressure put on it and you end up with these shakes. You have fuel slushing around. Now you have 25% more fuel slushing around. There's a lot that goes into it that you cannot predict. And that's what they said, matter of fact, here. They said, listen, we learned from this. We didn't know, we did a lot of testing on the ground, but we weren't prepared for this harmonic response, as they call it. Once again, I'm excited about this. If you enjoyed this content, throw it a thumbs up. That's very helpful. And more importantly, share with your community. Share the channel, share the video with your friends, family, colleagues on Reddit, on Facebook, wherever you frequent. That would be really helpful to grow the channel. I need you, right? Thank you. I appreciate you being here. If you want to say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button right down there. You can give a dollar or two if you like. If not, the video is still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink specific content, I have over 430 videos just for you. Over the last 40 to 45 months or so, I've put them together. I'll put a link here. Click on that. Go check them out. A lot of helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, making mesh networks. Check it out when you're done watching this video. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch, my tees, my shirts, my books, and everything else. Once again, jchristina.com. Take a look. If there's something there that you like, pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. And I hope to see you for IFT 8 on Monday. Take care, guys. This would be the second tower catch. Ready,
See it, 13 engines. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Down Get ready to for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. Booster ready for trip out. Make a door and pop the booster. 